Oh my gosh, guys, it's Tony from Nash RV. You do not want to miss this one. This is my most luxury bunkhouse travel trailer that I have here by Forest River Flagstaff. This is a classic addition. So this is their highest trim level uh, in the Flagstaff brand itself, giving you the most options possible. Look at this huge outside kitchen. You have a two burner stove outside. Oh, you even get a little rack for your uh, pop cans. I like that, how they just roll right out. Got a stamp steel out here. This can get uh, wet. It's not going to do anything to it. It's not like the wood. Nice cabinets outside. Hide all your snacks. There's an outlet out here. And I want to say this comes with a griddle as well. There's a little stand right here that gives it away for me. So you'll get a griddle. So you can do breakfast, lunch, and dinner on there. And a two burner stove top outside. Looks like you have electric jacks on here. So you hold the button. Those jacks come down. Outside shower. So you have hot and cold water. Uh, right outside if you want to rinse off your hands rinse off your feet rinse out the dog's paws before tracking stuff inside the kids feet before tracking stuff inside if they're down at the beach look at all your water connections are right here easy winterizing hook up the antifreeze jug right there black tank flush flush out your system get all that nasty stuff out of there make sure it's all cleaned up for your next camping trip look at that nice flush mount windows on the outside usually a fifth wheel will have those windows not a travel trailer also, Goodyear tires, aluminum wheels, and this one, you do get two big power awnings outside, which is pretty neat. So you get two different areas where it's going to have 10 feet of canopy space. And on your awning, they have aluminum covers that protect your awnings even while they're in. Even right now, you see there's a little bit of snow up there. Normally, that'd be right on your awning. Well, that aluminum cover is protecting that awning even when it's in. So very nice. Good job, Flagstaff. But yeah, power jacks, hold the button, all your jacks come down. Nice big solid steps. These are fully adjustable depending on your site. This is one of the coolest things I've seen. Uh, I've seen a couple of fifth wheels do it first, and now I've seen the flagstaff do it. But this just folds in and it's magnetized. Nice big grab handle. Pull this. A little easier. Some of those other handles are way up here. So people that have a hard time getting in and out of these things it would make it a lot harder. So shout out to Flagstaff for putting that on. I love that they did that. Here is this little latch here. I've been mentioning a lot of my videos by Lippert. It's a little cheesy thing, but check this out. As soon as you let go of the door, it automatically closes if it wasn't super windy out here. There we go. Yeah, so no more waiting for the kids to close the door or telling them twice to close the door. It closes automatically by itself. And here goes a lot of the features that Flagstaff gives you. You can screenshot this video so you can read all that later. And then another thing about your solid steps, Flagstaff, once again, goes above and beyond, but they put a little shock in here so lifting up your steps is a lot easier than some other campers. And actually, I can do that with my pinky and lift it up. Some of the ones, they're not super heavy, but take a little bit more effort. Look at this. Island kitchen bunkhouse. You have a couch here. That makes it into a, um, to a big bed. Two people could sleep on that. Nice windows all the way around. All these windows open. You have Asdell fiberglass. If you don't know what Asdell is, you see my other videos. Screenshot this and use that QR scan code. And you can watch a video about it. Just an upgraded fiberglass material. Look at that, lightweight, better insulated, better sound barrier, and it's water resistant. If something were ever to happen to this camper later down the road, hopefully that doesn't happen, but if something were to happen and you weren't resealing your roof, even if water got in, it wouldn't soak into the sidewalls like Luon would. So you might wanna check that out. Big wraparound U-shaped dinette, net, freestanding table. So one cool thing about this is you can bring this outside with you if you wanted to. And you can move it wherever you like. So if you want to get in the dinette, you just move it over real quick, jump in, and then you pull it back. So I like how universal that is. No more carpet in the slide out either. It's a PVC woven pontoon boat flooring that they're doing now. Because obviously when you're camping, things get a little dirty, sandy. That's just normal. It's going to happen. Look at this. I like this little coffee pot station over here. Or you can use this as your bar. Look at this. Residential soft uh, closed drawers and concealed hinges. Look at that. You can't see the hinges from the outside. Very nice storage there. I like the glass in here with the lines on it. Very decorative. I like how this one has an island. Pretty neat. That TV right across from your entertainment here. Or your couch, sorry. Fireplace that produces heat. That's electric only. Doesn't burn any propane. That's an insignia smart TV. Let's see what we got over here. Big pantry. All right, nice pantry goes all the way down here. Plenty of space. 
I like how thick all the wood is that they're using in here. This is a Magic Chef, big 12 volt refrigerator. Wow, look at this. Wow, all your manuals and everything are color coded. All the info on the camper, plus some. This is pretty cool. They made a little binder for you. Shout out to Flagstaff for doing that. Then all your other manuals will be in here. Your water filter will be in there. Very neat. This one will have solar on board. This has tire pressure sensor monitors, so you can see when a tire, uh, if a tire does go low while you're traveling. Wow, lots of counter space in here. I love the counter space. I love how there's outlets everywhere. There's drawers. What's in here? Oh, it's another big cabinet. Very nice. Pots and pans drawer. Wow, yeah. Put all your pots and pans in there. This oven's a little bit bigger than most other ones. I love all the counter space on each side here. Let's see. Wow, look at that. Nice and sturdy. Nice silverware uh, tray built into this drawer. Man, this is all so thick and sturdy. So well put together. Soft closing. Here's your gas line. That's for your griddle outside. Yeah, look at all that soft closing. Another outlet. Man, I love these drop down lights. Look at these lights. Very neat. Let's check out this bunk house. We've been waiting too long. Oh, man, I love those pillows. It's got a good look to it. That makes out to a big bed. Another bed up top here with the window. Oh, look at that. They even give you a ladder to get up to the top bunk. I don't know why so many manufacturers don't give you a ladder to get up to the bunk. And this bunk's actually a little bit bigger than the other one. Wow. Oh, these are thick too. Wow. These are nice beds. TV already installed in the kids' room, so no need to worry about that. Already installed from the manufacturer. 32-inch smart TV got a radio built into it they want to crank some tunes oh that's access to your outside storage more soft closing drawers wow tons of storage back here sorry this letter's in the way scoop this over there we go there's some more access from the outside well they still ended up giving you some storage back here this is a nice camper this is just a bunkhouse Pretty neat. How many slides? One, two, three. I'm guessing this has four slides. I'm pretty sure there's a slide out in the bedroom. This would be a little bit heavier of a camper, but this is also a nice camper. They're giving you a, a ton of stuff that comes with it. Man, and also the ceiling is like super tall in here. This is crazy. There's tons of room, tons of headspace. Oh my gosh. Oh, and this is new too. So you get a Bluetooth speaker uh, in the ceiling. So you just down, um, uh, connect your phone right to your Bluetooth and connect to that. You can crank some tunes throughout the camper. There's your solar panel controller. Here's your digital thermostat on the wall. And then this is your control monitor that controls everything on your camper. Cool thing about this is you can download an app on your phone, control this all from your phone. Your lights, your slide outs, check your tank levels, do all that crazy stuff just from your phone. You can even do it while you're outside at the picnic table and your neighbors are going to be like, what the heck is he doing? You're moving stuff with your phone. So pretty neat. You can set most of the camper up just by your phone. I like the see-through doors for the shower. Glass doors. It's got the magnetic close in the center. Max air fan. So that blows air in, sucks air out. And it looks like it even has a rain sensor on it. So if it starts raining, that thing will automatically close by itself. So pretty neat. Wow, I like this bathroom. This is a walk-through bathroom to get to your bedroom. But let's go this way. Show you your master. Wow. Oh, this is nice. Oh, I like how they put the shelves on each side. Got little reading lights there. I think those are blue lights. Decorative pillows. Got a nice comforter. And this is a gel top mattress, I believe. Oh, yeah. It's an upgraded gel top mattress, so no need to change out the mattress in this one. I know a lot of people will add, like, foam toppers or change the mattress out. Don't even worry about it. This one's already got you covered. Oh, nice big window up front. And all that counter space in the bedroom. That's pretty neat. Second AC, so you have two AC units on this one as well. Look at this big closet. Dresser drawers underneath. Pretty neat. Oh my gosh, it's even washer and dryer preps. That's pretty cool. Even having a bed slide and having a window up front, they still have a washer and dryer prep, where some other ones do not. I know everybody asks about a washer and dryer in a bunkhouse, or any camper for that matter. Well, this one has a washer and dryer prep. That's something that we can install here at my facility. Check out this bathroom from this angle. 
pretty nice. I like all the, the black shower knobs. Oh, and if you see that little blue piece on the shower knob, that's called the water miser? Water miser saver? Something like that. But anyways, it's a really cool feature that Flagstaff does in all their models, even their small little E-Pros, they do it. But basically, when you're waiting for your hot water to get hot, it takes a couple minutes. So you have to run your water for it to get hot. What you do is you turn that knob and it recycles the water that goes into your gray tank. So it's recycling that water going back to your fresh tank. I'm sorry, before it gets to your gray tank. So it's going back to your fresh tank, but you're not showering yet. So don't worry. I know people say, oh, ooh, that's gross, but there's, it's just water. So you have to let the water run for it to get hot. Once the water gets hot, that little blue tube will um, uh, turn color, and then you flip it back once the water's hot. So it tells you when the water's hot, so you're not wasting, you know, that four or five gallons uh, that's just going down the drain, going into your gray tank. And now you only have, you know, if this has 50 gallon freshwater tank, now you're only going to have 40 something gallons or 40 gallons at that. So very cool that they added that. So you flip that valve back, and now you got your. Let's say this had 50 gallons. Now you're back at your 50 gallons, and then you can continue showering and save water. So it's a water saver. Hope I explained that pretty clear. Hope it all made sense to you guys. Super nice bunkhouse. This is the Flagstaff Classic with the Island Kitchen Luxury Bunkhouse. Please let me know if you guys have any questions at all. Feel free to leave a comment below. Shoot me a message. If you haven't already, follow, like my page, subscribe to my channel. Thank you guys so much for all the support. Hope to keep making videos like this one. Follow my page for more. Thank you guys.